Hey guys, it's Father Stark here, and I'm here with another video. I'm sorry it's been so long since my last one, but as you can see, I have dislocated my knee. Well, you can't see that I dislocated my knee, but you know, you can see I've hurt my leg. <laughs> I dislocated my knee, so I've been resting and stuff, so um, I wanted to give it a little time, make sure my legs healed, and I got back into making reviews and stuff. I was almost going to record a review, and then the day before I made it, I hurt my leg, so that was scrapped. So, I've, I'm, today I'm doing a DVD and Blu-ray update. Uh, this is going to be a little bit different because, not different, but I don't usually get DVDs. Uh, only when I can't get it on Blu-ray or buy the DVD. And I've been going through a phase where I'm watching films, films from the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, that are kind of stuck in my head, but I've been thinking, I wonder if I watch them nowadays how I feel about them. So I've been doing that, you know, to see if uh, films uh, I liked back then, if I still like them now, and films that I hated back then, or still well, like them now that I've grown up and you know, appreciate different kinds of film now. So the first one I had on VHS was called The Murder Club. It uh, starred Dennis Hopper and Michael Madsen, um, but now it's called Choke. Nah, but well, it's called Choke everywhere else except for the UK, uh, where it was called The Murder Club. And up here, I will put uh, an image of the original VHS box. Uh, now, I bought this, this is the French version, and I went to watch it the other day, and yeah, it's in French. No English subtitles or anything, and my understanding of French is not the best, so this was worthless. This was, uh, you know, I should have bought something else. Uh, but I did manage to find it on Amazon Prime, so I watched it there. And I did have a different opinion of it than uh, I did as a kid, so as a kid, as a teenager. So I'll probably talk about that film someday because what else we'll talk about. Uh, the next one is Revenge of the Nerds. Now, I don't know much about this film. The only thing I do kind of know is that the rock star game Bully, uh, I think the, red, the nerds get a uh, revenge in a similar way to this film. I think some of the music from Bully is from this. So, yeah, I'll check this out. Maybe a stupid little comedy, but we'll see what it's like. Uh, this is, next one is Christopher Nolan's third film. I think it's his third or fourth film, Insomnia. Now, I remember really liking this. But I think it's, hopefully it's going to be even better now, because I can't really remember much about it. So, looking forward to this one. Next one is Roadkill. I've seen this a good few times. I, I quite enjoy it. Um... These were all like 50p and that, so there was no big loss of buying them. But it'll be interesting to check them up again. Uh, it's got the girl from The Glass House, which is another one I'm going to uh, watch again. And the gay husband from... Phoebe's gay husband from Friends, isn't it? And the uh, voice of Rusty Nail. I think his name Rusty Nail. Was, uh, I think it's Ted Levine, the guy, the Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill from the... Uh, Silence of the Lambs. So, looking forward to that one. Next one is The Constant Gardener. Now, I used to hate this, but I recently rewatched uh, Tony Scott's Spy Game, and I've always liked that, but I like it even better now. So, there's another spy film, I thought, well, spyish film, written by John McCarry, this one, I think. The guy that done uh, Taylor to I think of Taylor Soldier's Spy, the old TV series, and things like that. So, uh, I may enjoy this one now. I'm looking forward to this. This next one, my friend has been begging me to do a review on this. It's Haggard. I promised her I'm going to do a review on it. I will do someday. It's all the guys from Jackass, Ryan Dunn and Bam Margera. And so it should be kind of crazy comedy. I don't know what to expect. We'll see. Now we've got Triple X. Now, I never even liked this one back in the day. But we'll see. Uh, if, I'm, if I want a mindless action film, I'll, I'll pop it on. We'll see, see if it holds up or not. Uh, is the Mothman Prophecies. Now, the iPhone is boring as shit back in the day. Uh, hopefully it'll improve now. I've got more patience for films now. Um, but I was looking at the special features. It's got a behind the scenes documentary, 15 minutes, and in search of the Mothman documentary, 45 minutes. I'm interested in that. <laughs> I'm probably more interested in watching that than I am the actual film. Because um, it says based on true events. <laughs> It's based around kind of alleged true events. I think the bridge, there's a, a bridge that fell down, a couple of tragedies happened, 
and people saw what looked like a giant monster with red eyes. Uh, so that will be going in uh, all the background of that, so I'm looking forward to that. Next is the Pink Panther box set. These are amazing films, I love these, some of the best comedies of the 70s. It's a wee bit tatty, I've got, I've got all these from a second hand shop, but uh, four pounds, it's, it's nothing, you know. And plus you've got the Pink Panther, a shot in the dark, the Pink Panther 6 again, Revenge of the Pink Panther, and Trail of the Pink Panther. Uh, shot in the Dark's my favourite one. Uh, Trail of the Pink Panther is uh, not very good because it was made after Peter Sellers died. And it's just, it's, it's not great. Next one is Derailed. I remember really liking this back in the day. So I'm looking forward to revisiting this. Plus I loved Clive Owen. I almost wonder what happened then. He's a really good actor. And this is a box set I got for 150. Uh, it's got uh, a Mighty Heart, Munich, and Babel. I already own Babel on Blu-ray, but uh, I'm really interested in watching a Mighty Heart. I've, I've wanted to see it for years. I never had a chance to watch it. So, and plus for Munich, I really want to watch that. It's about the the nineteen seventy-two Munich Olympics, the whole the Mossad thing, and so I'm looking interested in that. Now the Blu-rays. Uh, I got Man of Steel a little while ago. I think I. I I showed that in the previous video. So I got Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. Uh, it's also got the three hour cut on it so I'm looking forward to seeing this one. Uh, next is Batman, Tim Burton's Batman. Uh, good film, not as good as Batman Returns but I like it. Uh, the Witch. Now this seems to be a polarising film. People either love it or hate it. Uh, I've not watched it yet but I think it's the same guy that done the new film The Lighthouse. So I'm looking forward to watching this. Now this is one of my favourite films of all time, Leo Bravo. If you've not seen it, regardless of what you think of Wes Runs, watch this film. Uh, it's an inspiration for like uh, Assault and Precinct 13 and loads of other films, it's great. Uh, this is Arrows, Cohen and Tate. I went in on this one blind, I uh, was very impressed. Um, your enjoyment of this film will um, depend on your tolerance for the little kid out, but uh, I didn't find him annoying. Uh, he doesn't scream or anything in it and plus there's the two guys in it Roy Schneider and Madden Baldwin so entertaining it's well worth it it's brilliant and it's really violent but it is great this is Doom Asylum now my friend Elliot warned me about this one before I watched it he says I really liked it he says you might not Mark he says uh, you know watch with <laughs> be careful watch, watching it so I watched it I loved every second of it it was crazy. It's got this fight scene on top of a roof. It's got a, a crazed guy going about killing people in an asylum. Uh, it's called Doom Asylum. It, it, it's great. The women are hot. It's really good, really good. I love it. <laughs> this is number 47 in the premium collection from HMV. The Maltese Falcon, or Falcon, however you want to say it. Excellent film, one of my favourites. This is number 31 in the premium collection. This is Streetcar Named Desire. And believe it or not, I have not seen it. I've always wanted to see it, but I've not seen that one, so I'm looking forward to that. And this is Hammer House of Horror. I'm a big fan of the Hammer, Hammer films. Uh, I've got a big bunch of them on Blu-ray. And this is the, the TV series, the TV series uh, House of Horror. There's, I think there's about 13 episodes, each about an hour long. Fantastic series, can't wait to watch this on Blu-ray. And this last one, this was uh, limited to about 3,000 copies. It's Piranha 2. Now it doesn't come, this is from 88 films, it doesn't come with any special features or fox on but look at that alternative cover. Isn't that awesome? And it comes with a poster as well, which I've not even looked at the poster, but we'll look at the poster on camera. Ooh. There we go. And that's the re release cover, I think. See, I always view it as flying killers. But the, the, I think the other the other titles the spawning. Right. So that's everything I've got. I'll be but I've got some thing other things coming in the post. There's one thing in particular, a big thing that I've got coming. Uh, a box set. It cost me an arm and a leg. I can't wait for it to come. Can't wait to show it here. Uh, so I've got a good few things coming when they all arrive. I'll make another video, and um, 
After you've watched this video, follow me on Letterboxd. It's uh, an app and a uh, website. L-E-T-T-E-R-B-O-X-D. Uh, I'm not sponsored. I don't make money out of these videos. I just do it for the fun of it. But I love this app. I'm using it like every day. Um, every time you watch a film, you'll record it. Um, make note that you've watched it. You can rate it from 1 to 5 with half stars on the play. So, well, actually, from half half star to 5. Um you write, 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 uh, write little reviews, you follow people that you, you like to see, you like somebody's review, you might want to follow them, see what else they've reviewed in that. Uh, you keep a diary of everything you've watched, you get to make watch lists so you don't forget what you want to watch in the future. Um, so if that sounds like your thing, download the app or go to the website, follow me, Father Stack, all one word, capital F, capital S, I'm not sure if the capitalization matters. And uh, you'll get to see what I've been watching and what I'm interested in watching and all the rest of that. And if you follow me back, I'll follow you back. And yeah, you know, I'll make a, make a thing of it. <laughs> um, so thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll be back very soon with another video. And I'll be back with another review once this leg gets better. So thanks a lot for watching again. And I'll be back very soon. Bye.